So I'm Sean and I have an all gender domestic abuse peer support group. Anybody can find themselves in a domestic abuse relationship. Um, it doesn't matter what profession you do, um, you know, whether you're rich or poor, it, it affects everybody. And it's about, you know, not trying to single out who will be in that relationship, but what we do after that relationship. I think, you know, love is an, a normal feeling and I think we all can fall in love with the wrong person and there's so much that comes within a domestic abuse, you know, it starts psychological, so you, you know, that person makes you feel that either it didn't happen or it isn't happening how you perceive it to be and you just kind of accept that and I think, you know, they can they can eat away your self-esteem and your, your self-respect and you believe that actually nobody else is going to want you, so you just it becomes normal for you. We have a large number of male victims of domestic violence come to get peer support through Bridging the Gap when the group was set up um, and it was something that I was quite passionate about that male and female victims need support um, and I think one of the biggest steps is after being a victim of domestic violence is to be able to reconnect and just have a conversation with the opposite sex and to get it out there that actually males are victims of domestic abuse and we should be supporting them as much as we support females. After speaking to male um, survivors of domestic violence, I realised that actually there was no support for them um, and females had several different agencies to go to and different places to talk and actually there was a gap and they needed support too and I think it's something that I'm really passionate about and it's something that's actually gone down really well within the group and it's helped explore that conversation and it's helped both sides of the survivors to understand that actually they're not alone and they just because they're female or male it doesn't change the way we feel we all have the same feelings and that needs to be explored together and be able to get our confidence back within society and the community within the different sexes and just how to support them. The hardest step for somebody who is a survivor of domestic abuse is to regain that conversation with the other sex. And I think it, it's a massive step for them because they become quite anxious and nervous around the opposite sex. And I think just being able to support them as a whole, and you know, we're, whether you're male um, or female in this position, to actually share your story and hear that somebody of your peer success has the same feelings as you, it makes it more rounded and helps ground people to the fact that this isn't just female and we should be focusing on both of them together and like not isolating them within their sexes. Within the group we have like a six session rolling, so we cover the six sessions throughout but somebody can stay as long as they need to, to take that information in and to you know, to get what they want out of the peer support group. So we cover like what is domestic violence and we'll go through that. Um, the cycle of abuse for different cycles, there's a different cycle for teenagers, there's a different cycle for men, there's a different cycle um, for older people as well. So we'll go through the cycles, um, you know, and the power of control, um, the abuse continuum, and the effects on children. Um, so we cover the effects on what domestic abuse has done for them or even the domestic abuse as a child growing up and how it's affected their decisions. Um, we have like a your space, so we'll have some time for them to process that information um, before we move on to about them. So we'll cover their self-esteem and how that they can like process this information to go on and you know, not feel that because they've been in a domestic abuse relationship that's what they're always going to be in and find themselves in and how to cope with that in new relationships, how to recognise the signs and how to be assertive themselves and know that if something isn't right that they you know, they have their bit of rights to say, I don't I won't accept this. Um, and we do a little bit on the perpetrators, um, the pit of denial and moving forward and how they can move their life forward. You can contact the MINE TWS number which is 01823 334 906 and speak to somebody from the Bridge and the Gap team or you can email myself on agps at mindtws.org.
dot org dot uk.